Today is the last day here on Stone Valley as we know it. I know, it's already come to an end. But I didn't come out with an update. Lancy Boy did, so I've gotta get a new game save. And you guys probably did as well. Meaning that we've got one more day to create a bunch of money, make a bunch of stuff, and do, well, what we can do. So, I have now completed. We'll go ahead and raise this up and turn that off. I will go ahead and take the baler. We'll raise that up, turn it off, and we'll go ahead and do a uh, quick fill just for fun there. Don't tell anybody I did that. And fold it up. All good. Now this uh, this whole little rig right here could be set somewhere, but you know what? It looks ridiculous, but I love it. So who cares? So now we get the fun task of driving around and picking up all of these bales. Now, of course, I'm not going to pick them all up. Uh, that would be absolutely ridiculous, but... I'm stuck. Cool. Well, you know what? The baler looks great right there. We'll just leave it. Might as well go ahead and fill up with fuel while we're at it. And we'll turn that off. Now, where is the Kubota? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we got a little, little clutch over here as well. Oh, nope, nope, nope. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Yee! <laughs> k -Bot sucks. Let's get over here. Not even sorry. Let's come over here. We're going to go ahead and fill these little bad boys up. We're going to put them on the Kubota. And we will drive around and pick up all of the bells that have been, well, around. Here we go. Just do want to make sure that's nice and good. Cool. Please let me in. There we go. All right. The only thing is you can't strap these down because they're technically mobile cell points. It's interesting. So all of the bales, not even half as many as we used to have, but that is for a reason because all these bales are like 40,000 liters. So we're going to have to come up and kind of chill out a little bit. Yep, there we go. So we made over five grand for that one bale. One. One bale. One cotton. <laughs> Straw, man. The cheapest thing out of everything. Uh, we'll come around here. Get another one. Man, those bales are huge in comparison. And again, that was about 5400 bucks. Right through there. Got it. Same thing. So I'm going to go around to all these bales and see how we could do. Uh, I hope that we're not a millionaire by the end of it. Because then we're going to have a whole lot more money to play with. And I don't know if we need that much money to play with or not. I think that's all the bales. At least on this field right here. I haven't... I haven't seen any more around. Uh, they're they're really actually easy to lose. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see if we can find sold bells. Maybe Bueller. Ah, sold bells right here. One hundred sixty nine thousand dollars. Of course. But we've got an entire other field to go. Not that there's a lot on this field though. And the last two bells, of course. Boop boop. Got them. So we're now up to eight. Hundred and thirty-seven thousand dollars, which uh, I don't know the last time you checked. I mean, it's been a little while since I've looked as well, but that ain't too bad. I don't, I don't, I don't actually know what to do with this guy, so we're just gonna, we're gonna put him there for now. Where's my truck? Found it. I got a lot of oats, and when you got a lot of oats, you gotta do stuff with oats, and well, for us, we gotta sell it. So I gotta find the best price. Uh, looks like sell everything is actually the best price right now. And I know where that is. Ooh! I can even cut across my own field and nobody can tell me no because I'm never gonna be on this field again. <laughs> and here we go. So this place is... Oh. Yeah, we're... A double dump is gonna be a very, very, very bad idea in here. But it should be fun. Uh, money's going up. I mean, we are just making an absolutely ridiculous amount of money. We're over a million dollars now. Uh, after just the first harvest of the year, which is going to be a lot of fun, actually, because we are going to be able to take this. There we go. We'll go ahead and do that. Oh, this isn't going to be fun. Well, you know, it'll it'll bounce around unless it empties. Ah, it emptied out before it bounced around. That's okay. Uh, what we're going to do is now, so we got $1.4 million, which is a lot of money. We can either, number one, figure out what to do with that money or two we can go ahead and start taking inventory on what we've got which is you know i mean there's there's stuff around uh we 
we man we we got we got to get into a different a different map because this one this one's a little bit interesting so this is what my final area looks like what we're going to do is we're going to go in i've got to download the new version and then get everything kind of sorted it's going to take some time and it may even take hours you never really know with these kinds of things and we're back um well i mean we're kind of back there's things that i want to know before i start doing anything obviously the chicken pen is gone right here uh let's see there's a couple other things around of course we've got all this old equipment but yeah we're gonna throw all that away is pretty much what we're gonna do it doesn't look like much else has changed i do want to know what i can and cannot delete yeah i want to be able to delete that <laughs> so we can delete those little bits right there okay and then what about this because these were not able to be deleted in my version but we can hear and that will work for me so i know a lot of you guys were saying in the previous version of at least my game save that well, that could not be deleted or maybe it could be deleted what about the fence oh he even made the fence deletable oh <laughs> yeah that's what i'm talking about still can't click on the trees though yeah but i'm still able to delete stuff the old-fashioned way by walking up to it and hitting end and that basically ends its life it ain't working oh crap it disappeared all right well uh it's working <laughs> We're also going to double check real quick a little bit of landscaping just to see if there's anything else that doesn't disappear when painting. All right. Well, seems to be good. Remember, I'm not saving the game here. I wanted to see what still hangs around. And you. And you. Ugh, really? Not working? Please. Please get ended. Thank you. All right, well, I think uh, I think we got a good setup here. Ooh, what about these little things? They could be ever so slightly really, really annoying. But they're still there. So I might delete those whenever I go through. They're cool, but man, are they annoying. Oh, we have a front gate as well. That's kind of fancy. Definitely going to get in the way of everything I'm trying to do here, but... Definitely fancy. And of course, the animal pen areas as well. We got to double check these. Just make sure that everything is good. And it is. You know what? We should fly around and get a really nice view. So as you remember from the other version, all of that was, uh, well, it was all done up. Matter of fact, I'm going to do some real quick. There we go. Auto safe turned off. There was an issue with fencing around through here, but he said that the fencing was fixed. And I also think that the fencing can be deleted as well, but I don't actually remember if he said that or not. Yes! So the fences can actually be deleted bit by bit through here. So you can delete one set, but not another, or, or whichever ones you want. And you can even fly in midair and be super cool while doing it. Yes, sir! Uh, these things as well, we need to delete. What, 51 grand? Oh yeah, that's right. You get a lot of money for those. Um, and then we've got the whole area around here. Now, here's one thing I'm curious about. I'm trying to figure out what kind of fence is being used right here. It's It's got to be something we have, right? Well, we've got, I guess, this version here, which I guess would mean that these are way further down in the ground than the other, because that's them. It's just further down. Actually, we can go down here and find out. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same fence. It's just way too far down into the ground. Which tells me... I wonder if we can delete this fence. That is a no. So if you want to do anything with it, you're going to have to create that. All right. You're probably also wondering what I'm doing. I'm, act I'm trying to go through here and figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Because I'm taking over. DJ's taking over, baby. All right, so I think I got a good game plan. Decorations, fences... We'll take the fencing that is originally around the area. That, that, that was it. This one? Yeah, 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 that one. And then we could just easily make our own little fence to go through, like, here. Yeah. Yeah, something like that could work. Look at that. Man, I'm so good at this. All right. So and at least I know all of that needs to be done. We've got to put another clutch over here because... 
well, what's this map without a random clutch sitting around? I love that. And then I got to figure out what to do with this silo. I should have a silo in here. We'll take a look. Silos. Do I have the PV silo? I may have accidentally deleted it. It looks like I've accidentally deleted it off this computer. But uh, we do need to figure out some type of silo to put here. Uh, the rustic one might be the one. Or I'll just go look around and see if there's anything else. Yeah. We're definitely going to have to find another silo. So I think I've got a really, really, really good idea of what I'm going to do. I've got to go into Giants Editor. i got to change a few things. And I've definitely got to mess with some of the animal pens to hold what I want to hold and do what I want to do. But I think we got a good idea. So tune in to the next one. I'll show you guys exactly what I did.